The holidays are upon us, and that can mean headaches for many parents. But fear not, we're here to help. Jessica Shields Flowers of Ripple Effect is here today with some easy tips to keep the holiday meltdowns at bay. And you know what? As a father of a three and a half year old, please, mm -hmm. I need help with this. This is something that is really of concern to me. Mm -hmm. How can we keep the kids in line during the holidays? They may be out of school. They may have more time on their hands and they're in the house with us or going shopping with us. What can we do? That's right. And all the routines and the structure have gone out the window. I remember this as a, as a young mom and my boys were home and it was like, yay we get to stay home in our jammies or whatever right. but what I've learned is that children thrive still on a routine even if you're out of school so and they think in pictures I mean right now I've got a lot of inner speech going on in my head and you probably do too but it's like a silent movie in their head isn't that okay. interesting so they do better if we do a routine in pictures it's like what's today gonna look like so now I've got some predictability I know what's next now I'm feeling safe and now I'm more likely to cooperate when you say it's time to leave grandma's house and they're having a really good time or whatever it now okay. they know how to leave and and, and how and to do so, that yeah, mm -hmm. let's talk about that a little bit more because I know my child um, you know anytime yes yeah, she's around people that maybe she hasn't seen in a while mm -hmm. you know she really wants to hang out and in, in, in that separation anxiety uh -huh. they really do throw a fit mm -hmm. at that point because they don't want to leave it's mm -hmm. kind of a meltdown I guess uh -huh. I mean when you say pictures uh, what do you mean that we can get out of that situation without having a meltdown this is what it's gonna look like I don't know what your child's name is but Tegan Tegan uh -huh. say this is what it's gonna look like when we go to grandma's house or when we go to our cousin's house or okay. whatever and this is how we're gonna say goodbye are you gonna say goodbye to your cousin with a hug or you're going to do a high five or see you later or whatever so we set them up they know what to expect and then it is hard to leave I know when I leave my mom and she's 97 years old it's still hard for me yeah, to yeah, leave sure. and so that empathy piece of it it's like it is hard to leave but then and, and we're gonna go in with that voice of knowing it's time to leave okay so kind of setting them up then for mm -hmm. how it's going to go. So uh -huh. that's the routine part. That's right. And then you're also talking about, I guess, tradition and, and, and having things that you do, kind of the same thing every year or every increment of time. Right. They, they look forward to that. Uh, I know when I was talking with my youngest son, and he was, he was talking about all the traditions that we've established. And food is a good one. You right, know, yeah. Baking cookies or a special cake. My dad's birthday was on Christmas Day. So German chocolate cake was our tradition. When I was growing up and so that that's those connections and when I feel like I'm connected with you mm -hmm. I'm I'm more likely to cooperate with you and, and it's easier and to avoid that meltdown any other Absolutely. tips that we can give um, to our viewers that they may be able to use during this holiday season to, mm -hmm. to keep the children entertained and busy mm -hmm. well it is it's enjoying it yourself I think when you model that you're enjoying the, the Christmas season mm -hmm. and and it all comes from you so if you're anxious they're gonna be anxious but if you're enjoying the moment and what better way to enjoy Christmas with a three-year-old or a four-year-old or a five-year-old because you can see it through their eyes so just enjoy the moment and be present with them rather than worry and when should we start these things I mean what what's the proper age to start these traditions and this routine oh routine is from the get-go from day day one mm -hmm. minute one and it just it's the same principle but a different look it's gonna so traditions are really and they, so start they, young and then absolutely. you can continue that uh -huh. and so they kind of know what to expect but mm -hmm. yet you throw in some kind of fun things obviously to that's break it right. up a little bit that's right but these are all great tips now where can our viewers go to find out about these tips we talked about mm -hmm. and to learn more about avoiding the meltdowns during the holiday season mm -hmm. you can go to my website at rippleeffect.us and you can find me on there or I'm on Facebook and I Twitter and I blog too. Oh, you blog so too? So we can, we can write back and, and say, you know what, yeah, the, what you mm -hmm. shared with me did help avoid yeah. the meltdown because you know what, they've already started for me. So I'm going to definitely look you up uh -huh. and find out how to keep these at bay. And of course, I'll have the link on our website, abcnews4.com under Low Country Live. You can go to our website and then go to your website and mm -hmm. learn how to avoid these meltdowns. I love working with parents. They're Treasure we need help. Me. So thank You're you for being there for us. Thank you so much. All Evan. right. Thank you for sharing this with us today. I appreciate it. All right.